How's it going guys? You're here with me, LionXV, and today is Loot Crate. So this month's theme is robotic. So I've just got it today, so I thought I would uh, get it ready and see if we can get the video up on the same day. So, I've cut it open, but I've not opened it yet, so let's see what's inside. Okay, we've got a... Uh see we'll start with what's this and some kind of aliens uh, come on focus no that's not it you can do it I believe in you come on no it doesn't like it for some reason might be the light there we go minifig so uh Collector series, Queen takes Bishop. Oh, poor Bishop. Let's see what we have here. Oh, it's quite a uh, detailed figure. So, uh, I wish I had a knife with me. There we go. We don't need a knife. Okay, let's just uh, move the box out of the way while we have a look at this. Kind of base, some mini figure. Ooh, this looks quite a detailed uh, figure. Wow. Okay. So we can uh, get Bishop out as well. Come on, Bishop. Oh, you come there. And, uh, right, let's see. So, okay, so uh, here's a finished figure. Uh, it's quite nice. I mean, it's uh, it's nice, but it's not as nice as the normal pot liner ones. It uh, seems a bit fragile. Bishop kept falling off multiple times while putting him on. But uh, yeah, that's good. We'll put uh, we'll keep him there. I'll move all these out of the way. And we'll see what comes in next. Me hitting my microphone comes in next, obviously. Okay, so next we have Wallace Core. Wallace Corporation from uh, Blade Runner, I think. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Just uh, put it up that way. There you go. Wallace Corporation in kind of a dark navy blue. And yeah, Blade Runner. Yeah. Nice, nice t-shirt, I'll wear that. And next, ooh, Star Wars, I do like some Star Wars stuff. Alright, let's see, we have a Star Wars R2-D2 collectible 3D wood model. Easy to assemble laser cut wood pieces, step by step instructions. Oh, nice! Uh, me and my daughter will actually have to do this. This looks like it should be a lot of fun. I'll get my wife to paint it because I'm crap at things like that. But uh, yeah, I'll have that in future videos on a mantelpiece or something somewhere. Okay, seems you've made it into a competition as well. So uh, you get to make it and put it into a comp. So that's quite cool. Something a bit different. Oh. Seems we're running a bit uh, bit low now. Let's see what we have here. The loop pin. Don't think you'll be able to see that without the glare. Oh, cute little robot. It's got loop crate symbol on it, but it's quite well hidden. You can't tell it's there. Let's see. Ooh. Right, we have here the Star Wars Next Generation Mirror Broken Origin of Data. Uh, I think that's a 30th anniversary special. Yeah, there we go. I do like the comics that you do get from them. They uh, retain quite good value as well. Um, so they're always worth... Whoops, sorry, trying to get it without the glare for you. They're always worth keeping. And keeping in the plastic as well, usually. So that's that. I'll keep the cat. And we have the book. Let's see... 
fallout crate, that looks quite good. There's the uh, Blade Runner t-shirt. The comic. The R2-D2. And there's the figure, it looks uh, a lot better there than it does. Yeah. But that's when Bishop got stabbed up through the grating, I think it was, that he uh, got stabbed through. Got the loop pin, and we got free digital comic, as uh, you get some online stuff every, what, uh, every crate, so that's always something to look forward to. Got what that's what the box turns into Cog Crispies, a cornflake uh, cereal box. Um, we've got some stuff like puzzles on it as well, like you used to have on the old cereal boxes. We've got thank you for being a looter 25% off, and that's some stuff from before. So we've got all those, they were all opened previously, and finally. The mega crate, which I never win. So for this crate, um, I will go ahead and say it. The uh, it's a bit lacking, it seems. You know, I don't want to put them down. Um, you know, you, yeah, you probably got just your money's worth with this one, whereas before you always seem to at least get a little bit more. You know, we've got the uh, Star Wars wooden pack that's also part of a. Uh, a promotion so they, you know they've got that pretty cheap because uh, it's all linked into promote incredi builds so uh, that's kind of a promotional item we've got this uh, figure which uh, you know the, the detail and the um, quality of build are not even comparable to the previous ones that you get so, uh, you know, that's not the best. The t-shirt, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, Blade Runner now, even with the... What's my what's, what's my camera doing? Stop it, camera. It's pulsing. We'll, we'll shift the box out of the way. I think the box was caught. No, the box wasn't causing it. We'll put someone else in front of it. Here, look. Appease the camera god. Just, just look at that and stop freaking out. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to hold this. It, what I'm talking has nothing to do with this, but it it pleases my camera. So, um, yeah, you've got the promotional, um, the figure, not as good. The comic's all right, but unless you, um, you know, it's just quite a specific niche, that one. Um, but, but, you know, that's quite good still. So overall, just about worth the money. Uh, the T-shirt, as I was saying before, my camera started freaking out as well. Sorry, is uh, you know, it's it's good. Yeah, it's not as relevant as other parts uh, or other things that with T-shirts that we've gotten. Um, it's an old film, and then even the remake's getting quite old now. That didn't do as well as the original film. Uh, it's a weird choice, but I understand it because they're all officially licensed products. So uh, it's better than getting something cheap that. Uh, you know what it is, but it doesn't look right, that kind of thing. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you did like it, hit the like button down below, and I will catch you guys in my next video.